get the third down conversion. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. To throw is Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. This is Tony Pollard. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, didn't bother you too much last time. Scooped up by the 49ers. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. Garoppolo's pass. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are season in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off at the 40. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Week after week, we're seeing plays like this from him. And I think he's in line. We've discussed it before for NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And a big reason why, I think, is because of his ball skills. And that's something that, for guys of his position, they've talked about it for years. They've done the drills. But they've really increased it in recent seasons because of the offense of getting so good. He knows how to take the ball away. That is huge. Huge for a defender. Leads to second and goal. Second down and goal. Garoppolo. And it's complete. In the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And the 49ers add six to their lead. If you did know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Cowboys take over first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the half, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL.
From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And they were losers in their ball game as the visiting Buffalo Bills come in and took it to them. 30 to 14, your final score. And lastly, we'll wrap up the week with Monday Night Football. Definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. In the game you're watching, it was Jimmy Garoppolo, who was brilliant in that first half. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Robbie Gould to kick off for San Francisco. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Now Pollard. And able to get this out to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Look at the throw. Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first down, it's Elliott. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. Pass the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. The 13 yard line. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. This is Halliot. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brings up third and four. Prescott looking left side and he's got a man that's Elliott and he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds it's a gain of six as they're able to convert and now it's first and goal now Elliott and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown Ezekiel Elliott his 11th touchdown of the year and the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net game. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Pretty important third quarter drive for it. And momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. First down, 49ers. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. He's across midfield to the 49-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second. Once again, it's Mostert. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. It brings up third. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. 
And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. 70th catch for him on the year. And like so many others, this goes for a first down. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. And back at the 47-yard line. Everson Griffin in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Completes it to Samuel. Garoppolo. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Back to the running game with Mostert. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and ten. At the two-yard line. Out of his end zone, Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter play. 14. Take it at the 37. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. The 49er offense, they're coming back out onto the field, and we're going to give you a look at the playoff picture now into the weekend in the NFC. And here's a good way to kick off a drive, complete over the middle. And he's got this down to the 35. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but... Uh, this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are, because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now they have completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. On second and seven. Garoppolo on the screen. This is Coleman. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. And it's third down. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Still first down. Try again here, first and goal after the false start. A 
play fake for Mostert. Now Garoppolo. And is it a touchdown? No signal. No, they say incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second and goal. Play action. Garoppolo. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the 49ers add on to their lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. This taken in about four yards deep. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And as we take a look at the playoff picture, certainly still a lot of jostling to go in these final few weeks for them. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be someone the hero. It didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. San Francisco. On play action, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel with touchdown number 29, too short of LaDainian Tomlinson's all-time record 31. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Makes the score. Gold with the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. And it's right about this time of the year that you start to say this is when the cream rises to the top. Week 15, three weeks left to go, but still plenty to be determined. It certainly is, because we all know everyone is aiming for that number one seed. But failing that, because only two teams in the NFL get a bye, one from each conference, that question becomes who's hot? Who's peaking at the right time as you start the playoffs? That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's good for a Cowboys. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Prescott from the gun. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And again, it's Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. It's second down and 10. On second down, Prescott again. Got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well. And that would appear to be a face mask. Defense. I don't want to see what's up. 
So that flag will cost them 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. A first down throw for Prescott. That is caught at the seven yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it a second down. Brings up second and from the shotgun again to Elliott. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brings up third down and six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Lining up and that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. And the 49er hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg, sliding out of the pocket. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Mostert. And the Niners are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets him down to the 6-yard line. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On play action, now Garoppolo. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk there to make the grab. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Taken about seven yards deep. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Prescott down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And my goodness, another interception. It's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40.
yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 42 yard line. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Offense. Who moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. Garoppolo's pass. 25 yards that time. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That's going to be caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Here's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. One last shot now for Prescott. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. Niners 49. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Niners, the final two weeks are going to tell the story for them as they move to 9-5 and five with the win. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Arizona to take on the Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Dallas... Their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll try again next week at home against Philadelphia.